Hi, and thanks so much for joining me for this collaboration with Allison Chase. Today we are featuring Gucci lipsticks, so if you'd like to hear about that, please keep watching. First, I want to talk about this collaboration, and then we'll talk about the lipsticks, so you can speed ahead if you want to. But I'm collaborating with Allison Chase on this. She is a beauty vlogger from Canada, and she and I love the same types of luxury cosmetics. I'm sure you've probably already subscribed to her or seen her before. The first time I saw her, she reminded me of a Disney princess. She has that bone structure that where she's got those really great cheekbones and just a really friendly, warm, kind of positive vibe about her. So if you've seen her, you know what I'm talking about. She just has that great, like, Disney princess face in a good way. Go see her if you haven't. Her coloring is not like mine. She does have dark hair and brown eyes, but her skin tone is different. She's much more fair and she also loves bright lipsticks. So she, again, focuses on luxury beauty. So if you are here, you probably subscribe to some of the same people I do who focus on luxury beauty. So she is another great resource for that. So she, again, is very informative and really great at showing you the products in action. So today we picked bright lipsticks. So I don't know how new she is to bright lips. I mean, she looks gorgeous in bright lips, but for me, bright lipstick is more of a recent kind of thing and that's kind of all I'm buying now. So I just pass over the nude colored lipsticks and I go straight to the brights. So we kind of compiled our own lists and compared them to see which ones we had in common. So we wanted to show you what they looked like on different skin tones. So there are so many lip shades in this collection. So hopefully this just adds to the information out there regarding which shades you would like to try based on what your coloring is. Um, if you've already heard about these, you know the formula is great. I did a little try on and that was one of the first things I noticed when I swiped on the first color was the wear on them. Super lightweight, super um, comfortable and moisturizing. So there are three shades we're going to talk about today. Like I said, go over and see her after this because she has the same exact shades, same exact formulas, and you'll get to see them on someone with a different skin tone to see if it suits you if you're not the same coloring as me. So really happy that we could do that and show these to you because many of you have commented that lipstick shades don't look like the shades they look like here based on whatever your skin tone is. I think lipstick is one of those trickier things in terms of the color you get. It doesn't always look like the color in here. Eyeshadows, not so much. Certainly foundations are kind of hard to pick, but lipsticks are also heavily influenced by both the color of your skin, the color or pigmentation you already have on your lips. So we thought it'd be a good idea to show you some of those and we wanted to try them anyway. So I will, of course, link all of Allison's information below. She has a great Instagram feed and also a channel, so we'll put those below. The first shade we picked is one of the Vol colors or one of the sheer colors. By the way, also her French is amazing. So anytime she pronounces something in French, I'm like, oh, that's how it's supposed to sound. But this is in May Coral, really pretty corally shade. So it's a, again, sheer, very, very hydrating color. The next shade is in Audely or Odely Red. Again, a nice warm red shade if you like warm reds. And then the last one we thought, let's try something that's a little bit cooler. And this is the Grand Hotel. So I'm gonna just show you the application. You can see what they look like on. in with one of the sheer colors first. You can tell because of the packaging, it has the flowers on it. And this was the one, after I took the pictures, I always take pictures of them first. This is the one I wanted to try because it has a sheerness to it because look how bright it looks. But I love a sheer bright color. So it is sheer. But you can see that it just has that really pretty color about it without being too bright. Really pretty. I was really impressed with how easily this glided on. I can tell it has that moisture to it. You can see it. It has a nice sheen to it without being um, like glossy. It's really buttery, if that's a good word to describe it. So when I wore this the first time, I was really happy that it looked so youthful in its glow. It doesn't have a glow because of particles in it. It has a glow because of its texture. Really, really pretty. 
very um, weekend appropriate and also I would wear this with a darker eye a smokier eye just to lend a little less heaviness to the overall look of the makeup but beautiful just beautiful so it could go either way for a no makeup makeup kind of look where you add a little bit of color or with something more dramatic I would go with something like this personally just so I'm not overwhelmed by lots of different things happening really pretty on and the warmth is just right on this one Okay, next we're gonna go in with one of the satin shades. The packaging on these, I'm sure you've seen this before, but they are just like, look at the gold. It's a really warm kind of gold and a very intricate design. It's funny, I always forget to talk about packaging. I don't know why, but in this case, like you can't not talk about the packaging because it's so, it's so tasteful and classic and just, it, Reminds me of old Hollywood glamour, which is what I think they were going for. Let's go in with Audely or Odely Red, the brighter of the two I have. So another bright one. Really pretty. It's not so opaque. I can still see through a little bit. Really silky going on. So if you like a red that has more warm tones in it, you're gonna love this one. But yeah, that was really easy to apply. Happy with the coverage. I don't have a lipstick like this, I don't think. Um, I'm trying to describe the density of this. It's not a very, it's not a super dense lip color like, gosh, some of the other recent lip colors I've tried have been super dense. This is not the most dense consistency but it's very pretty it has a very lightweight feel to it i'm not sure if that is what they say but um let's see like the other one the ball one is semi-transparent this is described though for a satin color rich creamy and long lasting it delivers bold pigment with ultra light and moisturizing feel that leaves lips smooth and soft and that's i definitely get that i get the smooth and soft i get the boldness of it, but there's still like the slightest sheerness. It's not as dense as other bright lipsticks I've tried, but there's a very lightweight feel that I like about these. So in that way, it is very different than anything that I have. Okay, finally, the last one is, where to go? It's also another satin, and this one is in Grand Hotel. And actually, this is the one out of all three I have not yet tried. Pretty. that's a nice berry color on me that is berry color same consistency as the last satin i just put on again unlike anything else that i have let's see what this looks like i'm just curious what this looks like layered with may coral over it the more sheer one gosh i love the sheen on these again not because of particles but because of the actual finish on them really useful looking. After that last one, I added May Coral right on top of it. I just wanted to warm it up just in the slightest bit and see if it even showed up. And I think it just put a little kind of um, tint on it that's a little bit warmer. They worked really well together. So if you want to kind of blend these together, that works well. So this is a fun collaboration. I know we both wanted to try these lipsticks. So I'm glad again that we got to offer these on two different skin tones just so you can see what they look like on. So if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.